a vision that all began four years ago when UMD and Amsoil were in the final pool of five to become a possible Frozen Four host site. When UMD won the bid to host the 2023 Frozen Four tournament, they understood the assignment and accepted the challenge. This is the fourth time the Bulldogs will host a Division I Frozen Four, and it marks the second time this tournament will take place at Amsoil Arena. First time being back in 2012 when the Minnesota Gophers were crowned national champions. The city of Duluth is expected to see a significant economic impact as they receive traffic and recognition under the national championship spotlight. UMD's athletic director of compliance and Frozen Four director, Abby Strong, says between all of the preparation with partnerships, collaboration of various departments and organizations, she's just excited for this vision to become reality on center ice. I knew how hard it is and how many details go into it. So I knew it was going to be a lot of work from the get-go, but I knew it was going to be fun for Duluth. Amsoil is an amazing facility for hockey and our location. Third highest attendance for women's hockey, and so that's a huge part of it, is that we want to fill that building and have the best experience for student-athletes. Strong says Amsoil has been an amazing partner, and she looks forward to celebrating a weekend full of women's hockey. Well, you may ask, what goes into hosting a national tournament? I can tell you one thing. The women aren't the only teams who have taken their talents to the ice this weekend. I had a backstage pass to setting the scene for this year's Frozen Four. When we unrolled the, the Frozen Four logo yesterday, I was like a little kid in a candy shop just going, oh my gosh, it's like... It's happening, it's real. The weekend of March 17th. That date has been circled on the calendar for quite some time. It's been a blur for the last four months. They called and said that we got the bid and just kind of moved on from there and started working. Amsoil Arena, the chosen site to host the 2023 Women's Division I College Hockey Frozen Four. It's a great event for Duluth to host. We get to showcase our beautiful arena here. An event promised to bring the city of Duluth and the sport together. But before puck drops, behind the scenes, a lot of work has to be done to get the arena up to standard. Knowing how much work goes into it, it's not something you dread, but you go, and oh, we got a lot of stuff to do this week. Amsoil's uh, head iceman, Jake Magis, proved that setting the scene for a national tournament comes down to both an art and a science. Starting last Thursday, uh, when the men, men's and women's teams both left for their games this past weekend, we started working on the ice so that we took it from roughly an inch and a quarter to an inch and a half of ice, shaved it down to a quarter of an inch, and then painted over it on Saturday and then re-logoed and rebranded all the neutral zone logos that you see here now. In order to paint this 17,000 square foot canvas, it took over 12,000 gallons of water, over 300 gallons of paint, eight icemen and seven new graphics and logos, all to transform Amsoil in under 30 hours. But the ice wasn't the only part of this venue that would require meticulous planning and part of this massive transformation. Troy Olson from Soda Signs was tasked with his biggest operation and marketing mission yet. Creating a championship stage by following detailed instruction and protocol from the NCAA to ensure neutral advertising at Amsoil. A little nerve wracking and a little bit overwhelming, but taking a look in depth to each sign, I knew we could do it. Olson partnered with Duluth Signs, Stat Design in Grand Rapids, and Section 127. The firm that specializes in designing advertisements and big events, including NCAA National Championships like this one. It's very complex. Uh, Excel, we have everything documented down, how long each install should take, which ones we're starting with, which ones are hyper priority and which ones are team specific. Does it feel a little like Santa's workshop to you? Yes, very much so. We're going to have a lot of helpers coming around. From hotels to locker rooms to around the arena itself, there are about 160 different signs, graphics, and decals displayed. Game nets, bench pads, shovels, water bottle carriers, Zambonis, and advertisements filtered throughout Amsoil. But even that doesn't break the ice. 
right here along the inner perimeter of the bowl, 494 feet to be exact. Each individual panel of vinyl has been installed, only adding to the extensive hours right here at Amsoil. It's amazing how much a vinyl can change an arena or a room just by putting it up. It just brightens everything up and makes it look a lot better. Really making it a, a top-notch, world-class event for people to attend, you know, not only for the players, but for any, any fans as well. You know, they really try and spruce things up and make it look beyond presentable, I'd almost say, like an NHL facility. The spotlight is on, the stage is set, and a new national champion is ready to light the lamp and hoist the trophy in Duluth, Minnesota. Well, it all begins tomorrow afternoon when number five Northeastern faces the defending national champs and top-ranked Ohio State. Puck drops for that first semifinal at 2.30. And then at 6, it's all hail the border battle when the number two Minnesota Gophers take on the number six Wisconsin Badgers in the second semifinal. The national championship is at 3 p.m. on Sunday. If you would like to purchase tickets, you can scan on over to our website.